Hey guys, here is the wall supported Jefferson curl. I'll show it to you, then I'll coach you through it. All right, the wall supported Jefferson curl. So on my setup, I'm leaning up against the wall with my feet out in front of me to facilitate me getting into a long spine position and then trying to push all of my vertebrae up against the wall. Once I get to that position, create a lot of tension through the legs, through your core and start curling your vertebrae one at a time, starting from the head. So I start to tuck the chin, I start rolling it over and now my cervical vertebrae are off the wall and then one at a time I'm going to try to feel my thoracic come off the wall and then one at a time I will feel my lumbar kind of come off of the wall. Once I get to about here it's just my sacrum on the wall. You're more than welcome to kind of go all the way down and just feel that stretch that feels nice or you can stop right there because we're done with all the vertebrae off the wall. Now Going back up, we're trying to put the vertebrae on from bottom to top. So I feel my lumbar one at a time go up against the wall. I have five of those. I should feel them each kind of go up against the wall. And then I have my 12 thoracic vertebrae each going and then my cervical each going. The cervical will be tough because we do have a cervical lordosis. That's okay. It's the same with the lumbar. Just try your best. The important part is feeling the segmentation and using the wall behind you as feedback. Sometimes bending your knees can help that facilitate that as well. So feel free to explore that. And as you get better at it, you can come away from the wall and that would give you no feedback at all. That is the wall supported Jefferson curl.